Hello everyone. So today we are going to do the current affairs of 28th and 29th of December daily best current affairs series. I am Jitendra Verma. So without wasting any time, let's start it. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has flagged off the country's first ever fully automated driverless train service on the Magenta line of which metro station? So the metro station is Delhi metro station. Okay. So new line has been initiated. So that is Magenta line, and uh, the train. is driverless automated driverless train so uh, that will run on magenta line so remember this and pm narendra modi also launched something called ad something called as ncmc ncmc what is ncmc so ncmc is national national common mobility mobility card or you can say one nation one card okay it is also called one nation one card Okay, uh, so that uh, NCMC uh, has been started by Narendra Modi on airport line. Okay, that is I think orange line. Okay, uh, Delhi airport line, uh, the line that uh, goes towards airport of New Delhi. So that is uh, I think orange line. So on that line, uh, that card uh, will work, and you can make transactions uh, while uh, uh, traveling uh, on airport line uh, or towards airport. So yeah, that is called NCMC card, National Common Mobility Card. New Bhadupur New Khurja section of Eastern Dedicated Freight Corridor that is called EC EDFC will be inaugurated by whom? So again, that will inaugurated by Narendra Modi, and uh, that is the dedicated track that uh, has been developed. And uh, Rajnath Singh is our Defence Minister. Okay, Rajnath Singh is our Defence Minister. Amit Shah is our Home Minister. Amit Shah is our Home Minister, and Nitin Gadkari is our Re, uh, Road Transport and Highway Road. transport and highway minister okay and recently amit shah launched various project in various state like in manipur okay remember this you can note it down in manipur amit shah inaugurated thobul dam thobul dam okay thobul dam thobul dam okay and amit shah also uh, inaugurated or laid the foundation stone of seven project okay that project included medical college medical college okay it saj project manipur bhavan you can say manipur bhavan manipur manipur bhavan okay and uh, integrated command command and control center integrated command and control center integrated command and control center uh, that uh, amit shah inaugurated in state manipur okay and uh, capital of manipur is imphal imphal theek okay? hai uh, and um, in assam okay in the state assam uh, amit shah inaugurated a medical college with a worth of 850 crore rupees okay medical college uh, with 850 crore rupees in guwahati where in assam in guwahati and uh, guwahati is the place where third khelo india youth game was held okay khelo india youth game was held in guwahati in guwahati and fourth khelo india youth game will be held in fourth khelo india youth games will be held in panchkula panchkula is in haryana panchkula haryana so remember this one also who has inaugurated india's first conjugate vaccine named as numosil so harshvardhan inaugurated uh, that vaccine why harshvardhan because harshvardhan is our health and family welfare minister family welfare minister harshvardhan is our earth science minister also earth science harshvardhan is our science and technology minister also okay science and technology minister also and uh, recently earth science uh, launched an app called mosam mosam and uh, so harshvardhan is our health and family welfare minister that's why harshvardhan launched that vaccine that vaccine is called numosil and uh, uh, that vaccine has been made by sii serum institute of india with the help of path path is an organization and bill and melinda gates foundation melinda gates gates foundation okay so uh, serum institute of india has made that vaccine with path and bill and melinda gates foundation home secretary and uh, secretary of department of personal training okay ak bhalla has released the progress report of ehrms what is ehrms so the full form is electronic human resource management system so remember the name government has introduced mandatory physical verification of business premises for the purposes of obtaining gst registration to control what so to control gst fake invoice frauds basically to control the frauds now the business prime, uh, premises will be uh, verified okay um, by gst uh, 
बाय जीएसटी और गवर्नमेंट जीएसटी अंडर गवर्नमेंट ओके सो गवर्नमेंट विल वेरीफाई द बिजनेस प्रिमाइस ऑल्सो ओके एंड पर्सन बिजनेस प्रिमाइस टू बेसिकली स्टॉप द फ्रॉड लाइक फेक इन वॉइस फ्रॉड सो या दैट बिजनेस प्रिमाइस विल बी वेरीफाइड Delhi Airport's Terminal 3 has installed new passenger tracking system to manage uh, uh, that tracking system is for what to manage the flow of people reducing waiting time and ensuring social distancing so what is the name of that system so that system's name is zovis okay zovis so just remember the name because it is straight forward question so the name is zovis Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs has introduced a new rule that mandates businesses with monthly turnover over fifty lakh rupees pay at least one percent of their GST liability in cash. Okay, they will pay one percent of their GST in cash. So it introduced which rule? So uh, that process will un uh, come under the rule of rule number eighty six B in GST. This is the new rule. That question is very important. So remember the rule is. 86 b in gst and uh, who is the chairman of central board of indirect taxes so chairman name is m ajit kumar m ajit kumar is the chairman of cb uh, cb dt central board of indirect taxes prime minister narendra modi has flagged of the 100th uh, kisan rail the 100th uh, run of the kisan rail was flagged off from Sangola in Maharashtra to Shalimar of which state? So Shalimar is in West Bengal. So 100 uh, Kisan Rail will be run from Maharashtra to West Bengal. Where in Maharashtra? Shalimar to West. Bengal. Where in Maharashtra? Sangola. Sang uh, from Sangola to Shalimar in West Bengal. And first Kisan Rail was run between Maharashtra to Bihar. Maharashtra to Bihar. Where in Maharashtra? Devlali. First Kisan Rail was run uh, between Devlali to where in Bihar? Danapur. Danapur. so remember this one first kisan rail and this is 100th kisan rail which country is planning to set up its first nuclear reactor on the moon by the end of 2026 so the country is usa and the capital of usa is washington dc and currency is dollar okay and new president is joe biden vice president is kamala harris kamala harris okay and uh, washington in washington dc uh, there is a headquarter of world bank world bank and imf what is imf international monetary fund international monetary fund indian space startup skyroot aerospace has successfully test fired a solid propulsion rocket engine named what so the name of that engine is kalam 5 okay skyroot made that uh, engine and the founder and ceo of skyroot is pavan kumar chandana pavan kumar chandana where is the headquarter of skyroot so headquarter is in hyderabad headquarter is in hyderabad who has won silver medal at the individual wrestling world cup in belgrade serbia so the player name is anshu malik anshu malik won the silver medal and uh, serbia's capital is belgrade belgrade is the capital of serbia and currency of serbia is serbian dinar serbian dinar serbian dinar the indian navy and which country's navy undertook the naval exercise called pas x so country is vietnam uh, indian navy done that exercise with vietnamese navy and capital of, uh, and indian ship that participated in that exercise is ins ins kultan ins kultan okay and uh, capital of vietnam is hanoi okay and uh, currency is vietnami dong vietnami dong that is the currency and uh, prime minister of vietnam is nguyen nguyen zuan phuc Okay, that is the name of Prime Minister. Sutrani Vedanti Sutra Ek Anubhav book has been written by whom? So that book has been written by writer named Doctor Rupa Chari. Sunil Kothari has passed away. He was re related to which field? He was a dancer. Sunil Kothari was a great dancer. Who has been elected as a national president of Janata Dal? So the president name is R C P Singh, and R C P is 
रमेश चंद्र प्रसाद रमेश चंद्र प्रसाद सिंह ओके सो आर पी सिंह बिकेम द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ जनता दल यूनियन मिनिस्टर हर्षवर्धन विल इनोग्रेट्स लद्दाख ओन्स मेट्रोलॉजिकल सेंटर हु इज द लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर ऑफ लद्दाख सो लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर ऑफ लद्दाख इज आर के माथुर आर के माथुर एंड कालराज मिश्रा इज द गवर्नर ऑफ विच स्टेट सो कालराज मिश्रा इज द गवर्नर ऑफ राजस्थान राजस्थान ओके एंड आनंदी बेन पटेल इज द गवर्नर ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश एंड सत्यदेव आर्य इज द गवर्नर ऑफ हरियाणा सत्यदेव आर्य इज द गवर्नर ऑफ हरियाणा सो रिमेंबर ऑल द गवर्नर एंड कालराज मिश्रा इज द गवर्नर ऑफ राजस्थान ओके आनंदी बेन पटेल इज द गवर्नर ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश एंड आनंदी बेन पटेल इज ऑल्सो द गवर्नर ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश ओके आनंदी बेन पटेल इज ऑल्सो द गवर्नर ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश एंड सत्य हु इज द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ हरियाणा मनोहर लाल खट्टर मनोहर लाल खट्टर मनोहर लाल खट्टर इज द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ हरियाणा सो रिमेंबर दिस वन ऑल्सो एंड हु इज द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश योगी आदित्यनाथ योगी आदित्यनाथ योगी आदित्यनाथ इज द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश ओके सो रिमेंबर ऑल द नेम्स यू जी सी सेटअप सेवन मेंबर कमेटी टू कंसिडर द इशू ऑफ होल्डिंग कॉमन एंट्रेंस टेस्ट एट अंडर ग्रेजुएट लेवल फ्रॉम नेक्स्ट एकेडमिक ईयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी हु इज द हेड ऑफ दैट कमेटी सो द हेड इज आर पी तिवारी हेड इज आर पी तिवारी रिमेंबर द नेम महेंद्र नाथ पांडे हैज इनोग्रेटेड द फर्स्ट बैच ऑफ इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ स्किल्स इन मुंबई ही इज द मिनिस्टर फॉर वॉट ही इज द मिनिस्टर फॉर स्किल डेवलपमेंट एंड ऑन्टरप्रन्योरशिप स्किल डेवलपमेंट एंड ऑन्टरप्रन्योरशिप सो लेट मी टेल यू अबाउट समथिंग अबाउट क्रिकेट ओके रिसेंटली आई सी सी प्रेजेंटेड सम अवॉर्ड्स सो आई सी सी फीमेल क्रिकेटर ऑफ द डिकेड फीमेल क्रिकेटर ऑफ द डिकेड यू कैन नोट इट डाउन डिकेड won by alice perry alice perry okay so that is a cricketer and men's cricketer of the decade men's cricketer of the decade by icc okay that award won by virat kohli okay and virat kohli also won virat kohli also won garfield sobers award garfield sobers sobers award for man of the decade for man of the decade okay so gars man of the decade so garfield sobers award for man of the decade also won by virat kohli okay and virat kohli also won won icc male cricketer of the decade okay so remember this one also and icc icc odi male test cricketer of the decade goes to steve smith male test cricketer test cricketer virat kohli won that award for one day international okay and uh, for test cricket cricket so cricketer name is test cricketer of the decade icc so that award won by steve smith steve smith steve smith so remember four four names steve smith won that for test cricketer of the decade virat kohli won one day international Uh, cricketer of the decade virat kohli also won uh, garfield sobers award for men's cricketer of the decade and female cricketer of the decade for odi one day international is alice perry so and uh, in the previous video of 26th and 27th of december i told you about the chairman of icc so i told you that chairman is shashank manohar but it is not shashank manohar actually it is greg barkley so make that correct and uh, greg barkley actually i was uh, uh, that name was in my mind so i was uh, quite confused so uh, shang manohar actually stepped down in uh, i think june or july okay so from june or july 2020 the chairman is greg barkley so the chairman of icc is greg barkley it is not shang manohar before greg barkley the chairman was shang manohar but the current chairman of icc is greg barkley and where is the headquarter of IC, uh, icc international cricket council headquarter is in dubai headquarter is in dubai so remember the name greg barkley is the chairman of icc and sorav ganguly sorav ganguly is the chairman of bcci 
Saurav Ganguly is the chairman of BCCI and headquarter of BCCI is in Mumbai. Mumbai. So that is the video for today. Thank you for watching Short Short Study. We will meet in the next video and you can follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook and Telegram. So thank you so much.